it's important to raise money for congenital heart research because we still haven't figured out all the answers to all of the different problems. So there are still patients with significant congenital heart disease that uh, although in general our outcomes are very good and they've improved over the years, we still have room to improve. There are still patients that don't make it. My son Kenny, uh, his story began of course when I was 27 weeks pregnant and I was going for what I thought was a routine um, fetal echogram. And as the echo is going on, <clears throat> the tech looked at me and she says, are you here alone? I thought, well, that's not good. And it wasn't. I remember thinking, God, you know, I know all the organs are important, but the heart, why the heart? It was such a roller coaster of emotions. Seeing Tyler go through all his surgeries. Um, his first one was when he was nine days old. And as parents, you feel so helpless that you can't do anything for this small child. And you're putting your faith in the hands of the surgeon and his medical team to know that he is truly getting the best care in the moment that I picked her up off the changing table, she suddenly became very stiff. Um, her face turned purple. Um, she could no longer breathe. And um, I immediately started doing CPR on her. Um, her father called 911. Um, the ambulance came um, and we went with them to the nearest hospital. And we watched for about 40 minutes. Well, they tried to save her, but there was nothing that they could do. Um, it still doesn't even seem real. Well, my hope would be that children who are afflicted with heart disease will have the best care and the best quality of life and the best outcomes that they can possibly have. And to do that, we certainly need more research, more funding, and more training of uh, clinicians and investigators to do this work. The biggest fear is just there not being anything more they can do and that that was that fear became a reality when I needed the transplant. It's just you're always on edge like what's gonna come next? Are you okay walking down the block? You know and and that was what a lot of my mom worried about me just doing normal everyday things our biggest fears and the things that we think about are that we hope his heart stays strong, we hope it keeps beating, and those are fears that we live with. What he's been through in his young age is more than so many people have been through in their lifetime. And we just look at him every day and his smile, and he is a true miracle. The money coming from the patient care, it's really not adequate to be able to do the research we want to do to get involved with the cutting edge technologies. That's why we need the help of generous donor to support uh, the field. Sadie is still my daughter. She will always be my daughter. I'll always be her mom. Um, I try very hard to find ways to continue to parent her. I can't do that the same way that people whose children are still living have the opportunity to do. But by being involved in organizations like the Children's Heart Foundation, um, by talking about heart defects and trying to spread awareness, um, trying to help raise funds for research. Um, these are all things that help me connect to my daughter, um, while at the same time trying to help others so that no other family has to go through what 
we have found for her.